Forest forensics time, the presence of stumps tells us that our forest has been managed. But when was it managed? And how was it managed? And what did it look like right after it was managed? Forests do this amazing thing. When they experience a disturbance, they regenerate. Every generation of trees in the forest is the legacy of a disturbance. And if you know how old those trees are, it tells you how long ago that disturbance occurred. So I'm in this forest. And if you and me were to walk through here, we'd see these like big beautiful oak trees and we'd be like great you know this has always been a forest but if we think about the generations of trees that are here it tells a really different story so we have two generations of trees that are here we have these generation of younger smaller trees that are about 30 and this generation of older trees that are about 60. so here we have these stumps and we have a generation of young trees that regenerated in the light that was created when those trees were cut so when this white pine tree was cut none of these young trees behind it existed. There was just a gap in the canopy, a space. Over the last 30 years or so, this forest has regenerated. Trees have risen up into that space and become something that we would all recognize as trees. We also have this older generation of trees. These are red oaks, and just by knowing about how fast red oaks grow, I can infer that these trees are about 60 years old. So just imagine 30 years ago, when this white pine tree was cut, this red maple and this hemlock and this smaller oak didn't exist. And these larger oaks were 30 years smaller. So they were actually about the size of this smaller red maple. So when I walk through a forest like this, what I like to do is to imagine going back in a time machine, take away all those 30 year old trees, none of them were there, and make all of these 60 year old trees 30 years smaller. And when you start to imagine what that would have looked like, this forest would have been pretty much clear cut, except for they left some of these really young oak trees. But if we were walking out here, it probably would have looked like pretty much all the trees have been cut. When you start to really get to know forests, you start to see that their resilience, their ability to respond to adversity with abundance is one of their defining qualities.